So we're here at Sioux Lookout Floating Lodges. I'm joined by my cousin James. We're gonna have some, uh, I think, some great times out here. Now the lodge, the floating lodge, where we're staying right behind us, this is the floating lodge. We got a, a, a small group of friends out here for some walleye. You see we're rigged up. We got musky, maybe bass, pike, kind of a mixed bag. This is gonna be fun. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this before. You know, this is a really fabulous body of water. Ontario has many, many great lakes, but Lac Sewell is the second largest. It's almost 730,000 acres. I mean, it is monstrous. And it is fabulous trophy muskies, trophy walleyes, trophy pike, trophy uh, smallmouth bass that nobody even fishes for. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna drive about 20 miles off the lake. We're gonna meet our boat driver up there and he's gonna set us up on an island about 25 miles that way. This is a fun trip, I can guarantee you that much. Hey, I've been fishing in Ontario for well over 40 years and have some great fishing memories, not to mention some very close friends. Ontario has some of the best multi-species freshwater fishing in the world. Ontario has a special place in my heart. The Ontario Experience captures all of this and more as hosts Troy Linder and Ty Shadeen explore new places, meet some authentic characters, and experience world-class fishing and hunting along the way. The Ontario Experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself. And who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. We, we came over, we just came over something on the, uh, watching the, the sonar there, and I don't know what it is, smallmouth or a walleye. I would suspect it's a wally. You need the net on this little runt? Oh, look at the bait he spit up, the size of that bait. Wow, oh, yeah, right through the, right through the top here. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, ooh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lip them. There. That's a, a beautiful. Get that out. Beautiful wallet. We just got up here and, and tell you what, this is a nice way to start the trip. Let's mark this fish behind the boat through back there. It didn't take long. It's a really fat one. This one's eating. This one is eating right. That's fun. All right, James is setting up the rods. We're gonna a little bit for some musky. The conditions are right for that. That no question about that. Biggest thing is there's so much water. Like on Lac Sewell, this is such a large lake. If you go find them, trolling is a good option. Put some baits out. Just start flatline trolling crankbaits. Fish. There you go. Bottom. Fish. Fish. Yeah. What? Fish. Yeah. yeah. Now, the only question is, do I need the net? Yeah, I don't know yet. What? Not sure yet. The little guy with the big appetite. Definitely going for something bigger, but still nice. This segment is brought to you by Tourism Northern Ontario. Ooh, I think yeah, we're not real deep here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to flip this one in. There, this is a, oh, a nice way to start the morning. Get that out of there. That's a chunky, very chunky smallmouth. We're starting out kind of, kind of fishing these numerous points and, and seemingly endless islands out here. You get a, at least in the morning here targeting smallmouth and walleye. It's a good start. There's one. Ew. Walleye. Walleye? Walleye. Ooh, look at that beauty. Oh, 
about Troy. Now that, we're having a shore lunch with the boys and I just got me my, my walleye. <laughs> Ooh, he's a perfect eater. Look at that guy, beautiful fish. Into the box. You know what makes this lake so good? Mm -hmm. It's the fact that it, it has deep water in it, but it's got a lot of moderate depth water, anywhere from you know 10 to 45 foot flats all over. So the whole lake is living space, you know, for walleye, smallmouth, muskies, everything. You know, bass, big Ooh, bass. Nice. I told you, fluking. Look at that. Look at that. Little, he's a real fatso. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Troy's got another oh. one. There we marked a couple. It just dropped straight down underneath the boat. Look at that guy there. Ooh. We'll see which one's bigger here, Troy. Come here, let's see. Right. Let's see. Oh, come That's... on. <laughs> the cool thing is, is do you know what? A lot of people don't even realize how many big smallmouths are in Lac Soul. There's a lot of them in yeah. here. Like right now we're in fall, it's such a critical time where the fish are really gathering together and you get on schools of fish like this. It's unbelievable. Yeah. We just marked a whole bunch. Yeah, I know. As we're fighting still... these fish. Yeah, yeah. we got to get back lot. down and yeah. we'll get these guys back in the water. We got a couple of different baits that we use a lot for both walleyes and the smallmouth and it's both simple soft plastics and a jigging wrap. You know, just a moon eye jig and various types of soft plastic profiles and the way you fish them, like right now where we're just suspending it over these uh, deep water schools. And with the boot tails, a lot of times we're casting that up and sweeping it up and I'm casting up and away from the boat. Yeah. Look at that thing now. You know, Lac Sewell, actually, it's sort of surprising. Everybody talks about the, uh, the muskies and the fabulous walleye fishing, but it's also loaded with these things here. I know we were up here a couple of years ago on this exact same humps here. We had like numbers of like four pounders, just beautiful bass. And actually, nobody even really fishes for these fish. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that thing landed and that fish was on. Big pike. Big wow, pike. Nice, nice. Big pike. Yeah, let's, really big one. Wow. Is that it? Yep. Is that right? Okay. Okay. Just keep them, keep them ready. Okay. Nice pike. Yep. Okay. Come on. Come here, buddy. There we go. Ooh. I got a real jumbo net yeah. here. You can see that. Yeah, this is it sort of keeps them fresh in the water. You mentioned, you know, musk. We're throwing for musky, but the chances of getting a really big pike are excellent here. And you know, the musky they get twice, you know, twice the size of this fish. But still, this is this is a lot of fun. Oh, that's a nice, nice pike. Maybe the, the biggest I've had all year, all, all summer. So along, you know this, we're up here in the fall time and it's a great time for that fall feed here at Lac Sewell. You know, staying at uh, Sioux Lookout Floating Lodges. Let me get this fish back in and I'll tell you a little bit more. Okay, let me get this thing up and to the side. Kind of out of the way, you know, fall time, uh, like we're staying here, it's just, it's just a, a great time. These fish go on, go, <coughs> excuse me, go on the fall feed. You can catch a giant muskie, giant pike, walleye, smallmouth bass up here, and you pretty much, if you have a day like this, you might, you pretty much have this section of the lake all to yourself. You might see one or two boats, and it is incredible, a lot of fun. This segment is brought to you by Go Fish Ontario, Canada.
The great thing about a houseboat trip is uh, you are where you want to fish. So you can go out before breakfast, you can go out after supper. Uh, a lot of other camps uh, that aren't on Lac Soul, you don't have that freedom. So you get all your travel out of the way in one day. And on the houseboat, there's nothing that you're lacking. Uh, you know, hot and cold running water, your fridge, your stove, everything that you would have in your house, you would have on the houseboat. It's a really good way to go. So I have three different size houseboats. I have a 50 foot houseboat by 14 feet wide. That's good for about a party of uh, four to six. I have a 60 foot houseboat uh, that's 16 feet wide. Good for a party of about uh, six to six to eight. And uh, the ones you see behind me here are my 68 foot boats. I have four of those, 10 beds in those. Good for a party of about eight to 10. So any kind of uh, group you can imagine, I can, uh, I can definitely accommodate. So if you're not familiar with Lac Seul, it's certainly recommended that you do take a pilot. Uh, most of my pilots are former fishing guides, uh, a couple of them are former conservation officers. They know the lake, they will take you out to your destination, park you on the sand beach, tie you up and come back a week later. If you're familiar with Lac Seul, you're more than welcome to take the houseboat out yourself. That's a big one. Big one? Yeah. Yeah. That's a little better. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Good head. Oh, yeah. What? A little better? A little bit little better. A little bit better, better yeah. yeah. A little bit better. But in comparison to what swims in this lake, are a lot better than this guy here. This is a, a nice pike here. But he's almost getting to the point where you got to be sort of quite Car careful with him. Yeah. Come here, bud. Whoa. Whoop, come here. There. We gotta get him the Vulcan grip. That's a beautiful fish. Look at that one there. Beautiful pike. It's a trolling. Yeah. Nice size wow. fish. And they come a lot bigger than this mm -hmm. one here. The thing is with the trolling, the thing is the biggest thing is efficiency. You've got sort of a cloudy overcast day, sort of dreary. It's pretty comfortable. Just go out, drop the lines in back of the boat mm -hmm. and start rocking. You'll get, you just, every once in a while, you'll bump into a great big one. You can see our coordinates there. That's actually not only fish like you see there, but that actually gives you a good sort of read on how the contour of actually you're driving the path. You can see I'm just bumping up along the edge of a, a sharper ledge drop. I actually have coordinates along that edge at the base of the drop that sort of gives me a good idea on how to control the boat as we're passing along the edge of the drop. Whoop, there's one, fish on, fish on. I got one. Oh, easy. Big one, big one. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Big wallow? Yep. Boy, that didn't take long. No, it didn't. We're uh -huh. seeing fish all over out here. In deep water, big, oh, yeah, giant right uh, yeah, schools of suspended uh, tulabies and whitefish. And so many different times, the real key to catching these fish are line counter reels and duplication of uh, trolling crankbaits. What the key is, is to get tuned into the depth level those fish are at. And we've just put out some uh, Husky Jerk 14s. <laughs> Our first pass went over them, boom. But we'll take, we'll spin around out here and show you how many bait fish are out here. And all the big fish in the system, whether they be muskies, big pike and walleyes, are feeding on this giant school of bait fish that are out here. That's, come here, buddy. Come on. There we go. Perfect. That did not take long. Look at that. Let me see if I can get her out of the net with a minimal amount of work here. Bring it swinging around here. Yeah. Let me get this uh, hook out. You want to grab me the pliers? Yeah. Oop, it's not too bad if you got a pliers handy. Okay, there we go. There we go. The cool thing is, is about crankbait trolling. A lot of times, you know, we've been up uh, fishing in shallower water and catching a lot of moderate sized fish. You go out in deeper water fishing situations in this trolling, a lot of times the fish get a lot bigger real quick because you're hunting. Well, these are the largest fish in the system, whether they'd be pike and walleyes. We'll get her back in the water. 
beautiful fish. Hey, did you know besides gorgeous surroundings and some of the best fishing in Ontario, Black Soul is home to a number of memorial cairns erected in tribute to Canadian soldiers who died during World War II. Located on the east end of Lac Sewell, anglers will notice a number of monuments dedicated to members of the Legion Branch No. 139 from Hudson, Ontario, who fought and died in World War II. The nine memorial cairns pay tribute to lost brothers. Each soldier is memorialized by an individual monument that names an individual lake island in their memory. The monument cairns are inscribed with the following. Pause all who pass this way and give thanks for a free and bountiful land. Those are words we should all take to heart when remembering the sacrifices so many veterans made for us. Part of the fun of any Canadian trip is the chance to cook, unwind and share stories and build camaraderie. As you can see here, there's a lot more to shore lunch than just fried fish, although that's certainly a treat. Another great way to prepare walleye is to broil them on a grill in tin foil with butter, seasoning, lemon wedges, onion and fresh dill. Add in some white rice and broccoli and you have a healthy dinner fit for a king. And that's just part of the beauty of vacationing and fishing from one of the houseboats at Sioux Lookout Floating Lodges. They have full kitchens with all the amenities of home, not to mention gas grills, making food preparation simple, easy, and fun. After a full day on the water, nothing beats a meal like this. And again, the chance to unwind and share stories about the day's fishing besides making plans for evening bites and the days ahead. Got him, got him, oh. big one. Beautiful little fish, come here buddy. Whoa, whoa. There we go, <laughs> what? Come on, get that little rascal in there, come on. <laughs> there you go. That's a nice one. Boy, he just smoked it. That was hot. That's one thing about musky fishing, so much of it is a, in a simple and efficiency game. Cover as much water as you can with high speed baits and that's what we've been doing. We've been catching some fish on just a big swim baits, reeling them really, really fast. This is just a big bite swim bait. I have it rigged with a uh, treble hook in the back end of it. Five inch bait on a half ounce head, reeling it really, really quickly, you know, real fast. The thing is, is what we're targeting here, you know, even with spinner baits and even top water, you use a lot of high speed efficient baits when you look at our selection of lures here. Yeah, she's in good shape. Oh, look at that. We're here at uh, Sioux Lookout Floating Lodges, and we're hunting muskies. We've caught a bunch of other really nice fish today, though. We've caught some big smallmouth bass, some big pike, and one of the, our really favorite target species, muskies. We'll get her back in the water. Come on. Whoa, oh, that, that's, that's a big one. Big, 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 big musky. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ooh, that is a good yeah. one. That's a big, that's, that's a, big a big one. one. That's a real serious oh, one there. Yeah. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. okay. You, gotta get, you gotta get back. We got him. Look, look at that. Oh. That's a whopper, man. That's, wow. that's what Lac Sewell's th about. You know, every year we come up here, Eventually, somebody catches a couple of these, a, tri a trip. It's an it's amazing fishery. It really is for the trophies. You know, when it's walleyes, big smallmouth bass, giant pike, and these are what we actually come up here for, like 
like giant, giant muskies. Like there's 50 pounders in here. Jeez. That's a beautiful fish right yeah, there. It's it a is. big one. You know, it's really unbelievable fishing up here. You know, I've been up here a number of different times up on uh, Sioux Lookout floating houseboats and uh, camaraderie, fantastic fishing, great food. I mean, it's, it's really a stellar trip. It really is. And I've, I've actually come up here and fall a number of different times. And this is the reason why. Yeah, you have to be careful with her. Yeah, she's really a, quick she's and then get her one. back. Look at that. Whoa, Ooh, that, look at that thing. Look at that. That, that is a beautiful oh. fish. Look at that thing. Wow. Oh <laughs> look at God. that. Wow. <laughs> that, that's, that's a heavy fish. This is man. A, <laughs> she yeah, she the, is girthy. It's yeah. like a clear musky. This is like, yeah, it looks like a. Aren't they super clear. beautiful? I know. Yeah. It's one of the biggest yeah. that I've ever caught in my life. What yeah. a trip. Yeah. Let's get her back. Yep.